So a big job for Anthony Grover in this second half. 8-7 plays 4-4. Sandlins and Taylor to go out in the ruck. Sandlins with the palm down, but again they don't get the clearance from it. Sewell gave it to Young. To half forward, bouncing ball. Hayden yeah, he that beaten for it easily oh. by Rioli. Oh. Superb pass to Franklin. Ran him into the goal square and he goals. It took only seconds. This year was 45 last year. Nice off the boot. Just touched on the line and kept in. Hayden ran into trouble. Rough head. Osman. He snaps and goals. In this third quarter for the Dockers, nine possessions he's had. Hawks are a man down. Ladson's still down. Rioli. And now Hodge. 60 from goal. Loads up to Boyle in the goal square. He's got three to beat. Almost. He does beat them all. Kept it alive and a rough head. Finished it off. He's got three, Jared Roughhead. 67 to 77. He's just ignored that. <laughs> Ten points the margin. It'll keep the vultures from training at least. Sewell. Bateman through traffic nicely. The spearing pass to Ward. Roughhead Play couldn't on. mark it. Kick but gathers feet. the crumb. Handball to Boyle. Play on, got his handball. Back to Roughhead. Now Stokes. He's nicely off the boot. Rolling home for the opening goal. Cameron Stokes in game number two. Two goals last week. And Hawthorne's win over. And gave to it. Bell. McFarlane's running back to the square. Instead, Reese Palmer, the first gamer for his first goal, misses. Good pressure by Hawthorne there. Campbell Brown, good chase down, but uh, they've got to keep attacking uh, Jason Hawthorne because they're just holding up the ball, denying possessions. But yeah. if you're going to turn it over like that, Going to get it straight to the opposition. We're a straight down the middle to Hodge. Sewell in the middle. Some space in the corridor this time. Two on one, so he takes advantage of it. Towards Roughhead. Big leap, can't mark. Off hands Grover. On the rebound, the Dockers. 83 to 68. Short. Josh Carr. Now Chris Main. Hands to it. Kept it to his own advantage. Inside 50 towards Pavlich. Oh, Great Mark Campbell Brown. That was a goal saver because they were under the pump there, Hawthorne. This not needs a, to be a good kick. Not only that, it was a big hit on Matthew Pavlich too, Jason. Brown erupt. Headland toward Ibbotson. Not a lot to go to. Breaking through tackles. Can't get it away in time. Get the handball. Free kick. You just need to realise that you don't have a hell of a lot of time at this level, particularly under pressure. And when you've got around a couple of players, you've got to know that there's got to be someone closing Bring in on you. Play on, play on. No 15. Play on, play on. Sam Mitchell told to get on with it. Osborn. Thought about Sewell. Some couple of options wider. Chance Bateman, one of them. Play on. Boyle leads short. Franklin leads central in his direction. Oh, Staying down, play. Roughhead play read on. that beautifully in goals. He's got four. Still plenty of time left in the game. More than 15 minutes left, and it's only a 21-point uh, margin, so they need to get on their bike, but certainly not over. Are kicking with a slight breeze in this term, the Dockers. According to the flags, anyway. Sewell got the handball from Tuck. Weaved his way through. Franklin, one hand, not the second grab. Ibbotson, tackled by Rioli nicely. Franklin sizes them up from 48. Through one, past another. With some style. It's skills like that can make a grown man cry. Unbelievable. been some players play AFL with large bags of tricks, but Lance Franklin's bag is just about as big as they come. I think one of the keys to it, Dwayne, is if this is an average night and he's still able to contribute three or four goals, that says something pretty special about the player. From the ball up, time now the en enemy of Fremantle as well as the Hawks. Taylor 
And the Hawks have played their way back into a commanding position here. To tuck. Lead comes from Boyle. Goes wider instead. Campbell's on the move and he marks. Gee, I've been impressed with Travis Tuck tonight. 21 possessions. He uh, played a game or two last year, but he's played both games this year. He was good in the NAB Cup and... He looks like he belongs at this level. Straight away, he's just uh, he's felt very comfortable at this level. What I like about it, he's just gone about his business. On the other side of the coin, Fremantle got players like Young Peak, and he's had no contribution tonight. So that's where it's been disappointing. Robert Campbell, two goals last week. Normally a reliable kick. And some breathing space for the Hawks. Good crowd in here at Subiaco. Perfect evening for football and umpire Steve McBurney thumps it into the turf again. Palm down to Headland. He couldn't get it away to a teammate. Hodge, Tuck, Sewell. Rough heads on the move. It's toward Campbell instead. He's got two to beat. Thumps it down. Rioli ducks out of the tackle. Slick to Stokes. The two teammates from the territory. And Stokes around the body. Kicks her behind. Just a... Sandlins against Taylor. Towards Pavlich. Look out. And what a bell. Oh. Bear chip and shoulder. As big as it gets from Campbell Brown. He got up and he was tackled and he got ball. You can see it coming a mile off. Oh. A fantastic hit from both players. This is a solid hit. And look at them both bounce up. Both of them straight to their feet for the second effort. Well, that's footy at its best. Well, Peter Bell will never shirk an issue. And got up and got the possession. And <laughs> unlucky for him, he got penalised. But uh, unfortunately, he's one of only a few that continue to work that hard for his footy club. Not sure that ringing in his ears is actually <laughs> him or the bloke over the fence. Gillum. Osborne. Taylor. Guerra. Time running out down the clock for the Dockers. Rough head. Osborne. Too wide for Franklin. So we've played 14 minutes final term, still 11 and some change to come. 102 to 74. Sandlin's in the rut. Tried to take it out of the air. Opposite number Campbell gathers, gives to Sewell. Thought about a snap, hands it off instead. High kick, Tuck. He's been sensational tonight. And he kicks his foot. They fought back a couple of times, the Fremantle Doggers. But a 15-point victory to the Hawks. They led by two points at quarter time. Opened up a 27-point lead at half time. Skipped out to a 33-point lead early in the third term. Dockers got back to a 10-point margin at three-quarter time. But the Hawks 16-16, 112 away from home. Defeat Fremantle 14-13, 97. Lee Carver's down on the boundary line. Welcome back, Lee. Yes, thanks for having us. We're up with one of the young champs, Ruffy. Not a bad night for yourself again. A great win on the road. Yeah, no, good to come over here in Freo and uh, have a good win. Obviously, Freo are a good side over here, but the boys showed enough and uh, got over the line. Just uh, so much work right through the middle of the ground. Some of your young boys, uh, Clinton Young, had a great start to the game. Obviously, came off in the end, but, you know, Sully played well again. Everyone's just up and running early. Yeah, no, it's good that we... I suppose the midfielders have worked, had a hard pre-season and so have all us, so like I said, to come over here in the, to this big ground, it's just good to get away with a win. And yourself, four goals tonight, three last week, you're, um, you and the big fella up there uh, aren't going too bad. I suppose with the midfield we've got, it's good to, it's good to get on the end of a few and obviously we can, if we can share it around like we have tonight, it was good. Now uh, Rick Ladson, he's a miracle man because he got back out there again tonight. Last week you just popped one a little bit high and uh, he actually nearly broke his ribs, but uh, he apologised last week, but uh, he, uh, he was sensational again for you again tonight. Obviously, Lado coming off the back line with Gooey and uh, a few others, it's just good that we can just run and finish off the game like that. Thanks mate, all the best. Cheers mate, Cheers.